This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the second annual Growth Capital Expo in Las Vegas 2015. I have with me Ben McPherson, Banjo and Matilda. It's a publicly traded company and the ticker is B-A-N-J. Ben, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks, Shelley. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you. Yeah, thank you. So let's get an overview of the company to begin. Sure. So uh, Banjo Matilda is a lifestyle brand from Australia. And uh, our most famous product, or what we're best known for, is our knitwear, our cashmere knitwear. So women's line, men's, children? Yep, just, just women's now. And uh, we're just about to expand into other uh, products within women's and then eventually men's and children and home and all of the other things that you do. So who's your designer? Well, my wife is actually the creative director, so that's, uh, that's cool. And she's way smarter and, and, uh, and, and uh, better than I am. Uh, but we have a team of designers that sit, sit uh, that work with her. It's uh, a retail strategy, which is our e-commerce business. So that's about 27% of our sales. And then uh, we have a wholesale business where we sell to major retailers like Neiman Marcus and Netta Porter, Shopbop, and other major retailers in the U.S. and around the world. And they retail our products. Where do you manufacture? All in China, actually. China is uh, one of the most sophisticated manufacturing markets in the world for knitwear. And uh, they do an exceptional job now. They're um, highly skilled, you know, technically capable. 98% uh, of the world's cashmere actually comes from Inner Mongolia. So uh, the supply is right there. And for knitwear, it's, it's the place. Wow. So you're knitting, you're cutting, you're making and trimming all in China. So then you direct ship to the retailers. Uh, we actually, um, we manufacture in factories throughout China. Uh, depending on uh, the, the, the requirement or the exact type of garment that we're producing. And then we centralize it into a distribution center and then we ship it out from there. So Ben, let me ask you, what differentiates your products from all the other cashmere products out there? Well, it's interesting actually. Um, Banjo Matilda, our brand ethos is this relaxed luxury. And uh, there's this real desire uh, globally now for a thing they call the new luxury, which is about quality of life, it's relaxed, um, it's humble, in fact. And uh, Banjo Matilda's style and design is, uh, fits perfectly into that ethos. And in fact, one of the things that comes about because of where we're from is that our brand, uh, being an Australian brand, uh, fits perfectly this new new luxury ethos. So all of our designs are like this, you know, fantastic homey things that you love to pull on, yet you look fantastic, and you can wear it out with a pair of high heels, and you can wear it down the road with your Birkenstocks. Uh, and that's, um, so we're, we're very unique in that regard. From the standpoint of growth in the company, yeah. uh, let's give me a little idea what sales were last year and, you know, Within reason, tell me what you expect in 2015 and 16. Sure. Well, sales in uh, calendar 14 were you know just a bit over two million, and, and uh, we're running uh, now at about four to five million in sales. That's our current runway. Okay. So, where do you see the company being? Where do you want to take it? How do you want to expand sales? What's your marketing approach? Yep. Great. I love this question. So we're. Um, uh, well, our comparable companies or the companies that we hold in high regard uh, that are similar and have had very, uh, very similar growth paths to, to we have uh, are companies like Vince, um, Michael Kors to a less extent, and a French company that's not listed called Zadig and Voltaire. And they're all billion dollar plus businesses eventually. So they're, they're, they're a lifestyle offering. Uh, they provide a certain point of difference uh, with their brand in the market as we do being an Australian relaxed luxury brand. Um, and then, so ultimately, that's really where we want to be. We see that opportunity um, right there for us. So if you had to break down sales mm -hmm. on a global basis, uh, where are your highest producing markets for revenues? Well, 75% of our sales are in the U.S., so the domestic U.S. Uh, we're based out of the U.S. now. Um, and then uh, behind that is Australia, which is our home market. And then from there, we've got uh, Europe that's coming on very strong, and Asia's just starting to come online now too. So where does the name Banjo and Matilda come from? I, yeah. uh -huh. I, it's, I know it's got to be Australian somewhere. Well, there's two stories, actually. Okay. The first one was uh, my elder sister uh, wanted me to name my first son uh, Banjo. And I said, are you kidding me? He's not going to have the name Banjo. Um, but uh, we ended up naming uh, part of the company Banjo. But actually, Banjo and Matilda comes from um, the, Australia's most fam famous poet. His uh, name was Banjo Patterson. And his most famous poem was Waltzing Matilda. So we, we put the two together. And it's male and female, and 
Yeah, my wife and I liked it. That was it. I kind of like it too, now that I know the background on it. So um, let me see. What I'd really like to know, how do you like running this over anything else you're doing in the entire possible world? Do you know what? This is the best thing that I've ever done. Uh, you know, there's that maxim that says, uh, only do what you're passionate about and uh, enjoy doing. Um, and uh, you can't lose, and that's certainly the, the case for me. I love all of the aspects of this business, and it's true. Once you get bitten by this, this bug, uh, it's very hard to, to go back. Okay, let's get your website out there, please. Yeah, banjoandmatilda.com, B-A-N-J-O-A-N-D-M-A-T-I-L-D-A. Ladies and gentlemen, Banjo and Matilda, Ben McPherson. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is B A N J. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you from the second annual Growth Capital Expo in Las Vegas, 2015. Ben, Great. continued success. Thank you, Thanks Shelley. Appreciate on. it.